we will be trying apps that no one has ever used before in Termux. Like this Hollywood style terminal, running Wine, VS Code in browser, Chromium browser and much more. And all of this doesn't require root or root. Getting started with my favorite browser, Chromium, which is open source browser developed by Chrome. So go to Termux and execute package install ur-repo-y. Then just install Chromium package install Chromium y and then just launch my VNC server, connect to it and under applications, internet, here is Chromium. Just click on that and here is Chromium browser. And this is just beginning. We will be trying other cool apps like this in this video. Next we will be using Wine. So this package is also in two repo but we need to make a small change. So go ahead and execute following. Now here add following ur dash multilib ur dash hacking then save it with control x y and enter now update your repos then just execute package install wine dash table now start wine command prompt wine and for 64 bit devices it will be 164 and then cmd and here is our command prompt for me it doesn't work with gui as it is still experimental but in CLI it works fine. If you want to play with it in GUI, you can try this one, link will be somewhere here. Next one is really cool, my favorite text editor ever, VS Code. You just need to execute code-server in Termux and connect to it via browser or if you have a GitHub repo, you can press period key on your keyboard to get VS Code running without installing it. I already made a dedicated video on that, you can check that out, link will be somewhere here. Next, we're gonna try Photoshop alternative for Linux, GIMP. So just go to Termux, start the Termux GUI, connect to it. Now launch your terminal and execute package install GIMP-Y and then just launch it. Now I can edit my thumbnails better. Now we're gonna try Blender. It is available in two repo and I already installed it. So I will just execute package install Blender-Y and here is Blender, just launch that. And here it is. Now go and design your own models. Next one is really cool and helpful. And it is Ranger, a terminal based file manager. So go ahead and install that package install ranger y. Then just execute ranger and directory name. And how cool is that? A terminal based file explorer. And press Q to get out of here. Next we have bat, or you can say a better version of cat. When you use cat to see contents of that file, it shows you without any color, syntax highlight and in a dirty format which is hard to read. So we have bat here. Just go ahead and install that package install bat-y and execute bat and the file. Now it looks much better and readable and hit Q to exit. For next one, I have an image here. So if you have seen image like this in terminal but don't know how to make your own so go ahead and execute following package install wget y then go to this github repo release and here we have archive for different architectures so you can check your device architecture by executing uname dash m once you know that just long click on archive according to your architecture and copy link address then go to termux and execute wget and paste the link extract it copy it to bin and now execute ASCII and press tab to complete that specify the image dash dash color to get colors and here is our beautiful image and if you want to view images in terminal here then go ahead and install term image package install term image dash y and then just execute term image and specify the image and that's it now finally it's time for this hollywood style terminal so go to Termux and execute package install edx ui y. Then one more command to install VNC server. Now execute VNC server dash geometry and your device resolution dash x startup dollar prefix slash bin slash edx ui. Create your password, verify it, and that's it. Now go to VNC viewer, click on this plus icon, localhost colon one, create connect 
enter your password and look at it how cool is that and i think that now i became a hacker you can even customize it and change the theme if you want and to get out of here just execute exit next if you want to see your system info then just install neofetch package install neofetch dash y and then execute neofetch similarly to see your cpu info install cpu fetch and execute cpu fetch and here is my cpu info hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you want to see more like this and most important subscribe